even as we sit there and talk later on, we talk for hours now. As we talk, we got more couples coming through. We got all kinds of people coming through. They they get in to see couples with their own eyes. They they see these fine, beautiful women with these with these dudes that don't look so good. Dudes definitely punching way above their weight class. And all they can do is come up with some comfortable excuse. But he probably got money. Nigga, he live in the same community with you. You got money? What are you talking about? He probably got money. He don't have no more money than you have. Nah, that's just y'all excuses. Y'all come up with all these ready set excuses to just justify why you can't do what you see this man doing or what you see in that man doing. You got this fat ass dude with that fine ass woman and all you can do is just come up with an excuse. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it's true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. Whoa now, whoa now, whoa now. Welcome back to the Black Elf and your boy, but the Kush. Look, man. I've been still having these talks with these young brothers in my community, man, and about relationships and stuff. And, and the conversation is really getting tiresome. I just come to realize that the main problem that they have with relationships is that they don't understand the fundamentals of how people even meet. They don't understand the fundamentals of a relationship itself and what a relationship is. A relationship is not a couple. When you see a couple, an established couple, we call that a relationship, but that's not necessarily a relationship. A relationship is how two or more people talk to, behave towards, and deal with each other. That is the actual definition of a relationship. How two or more people or groups talk to, behave towards, and deal with each other. That, that, that determines the status of their relationship. So the relationship begins before you become a couple. The relationship begins in the ideology. The relationship begins in the media. The relationship begins in feminism, in red pill, in conservatism, in liberalism. In religion, these are all precursors to the relationship. These are all things that individuals uh, build their character based upon. And your character is going to determine how you talk to, behave towards, and deal with other people, be they man, female, man, woman, white, black, other, it doesn't matter. Jew, Christian, Muslim, it doesn't matter. These, your, your beliefs determine how you're going to deal with certain people. And that is where our problems start. Right there. When we talk about relationships with women. Our problems start in the head. Anyway, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon and receive notification when I drop more videos. Uh... What made me think about this is two things. Talking to the young brothers and listen to Ann Coon. Talking about Anton Daniels. Ann Coon. He did some video talking about some, some chick was talking about uh, high value men are overrated, right? And in the video, the chick mentioned about something about uh, an average woman can't get these kind of men. And he said, you see? She's saying the average woman, maybe she just didn't qualify, you know what I'm saying? What I am saying is that if you are an average young woman in your 20s or 30s and are looking for men in the same age group. But here was here. The key word is what she says. If you're an average young woman, if you're an average young woman, meaning that you probably don't qualify for that type of man in the first place. And that's why most women have passed up on the men that they already probably should have married because they are average also but see the thing is everybody's average bro and you got a nigga like anton i hate going here but the dude is not a track i mean i don't know how women see him but the dude is funny looking he's out of shape fat like he never done a push-up in his damn life you know yeah i got some extra pad on but i still got a chest you know what i'm saying i, I mean I, I still work out i'm still strong 
I got a bench. I'm still benching at 300 pounds right now. It's been going down because I'm getting older. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm, I'm still strong. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, this dude is funny looking. He's not a good looking dude at all. He wears funny glasses. He has a funny dress style. But he thinks that he is special because he made some money grifting you niggas on YouTube. That is the definition of a fantasy man. He knows in reality his whole world is online. He ain't shit. But anyway, you know, we are all average or slightly above or slightly below. That's where we are. And the slightly above, what are you basing it on? Slightly above looks? Well, guess what? You got average looking men that get slightly above average looking women. You got slightly, uh, you, you got average looking women that get slightly above average looking men. What are we talking about? Economics? Well, you got average economic economically people or average financially people that get above average financially other people people don't really date and marry based upon your idea of average and high value and, and, and hypergamy that's not how people really date bro that's not how people really meet meeting and dating is simply about proximity that's all you marry and date who you have access to if you can attract them, if you could talk to them, if you could job with them. That's who you marry and date. It doesn't matter how you look. It doesn't matter how much money you have. None of that matters. You marry who you are around. You date who you are around. It's just that simple. Y'all spend too much time looking online at girls. It's this young brother in my community, man. He got, he got a phone full of, every time he mentions some chick, he pull up, you, you know this chick, you know, I mean, like, like a child, but I'm like, man, I don't give a fuck about it. I had to tell him the other day, bro, I don't care about these people like that, bro, my world is here, I'm here, what the hell I want to live in a fantasy, where, like, first of all, who are these people that I should know them? I have dated a lot of very attractive women that could put to shame or, or at least rival any woman you can pull up online, any woman. Because you got to remember, before these women get famous, they was just regular people. Before you seen this chick on Instagram, a lot of them Instagram girls are still not famous. Before you seen her on Instagram, she's just a regular person. So when y'all talk about these people like they are plucked from a special island, they are not. These are just regular people. And guess who they're dating? They're dating the people that they got access to. They are marrying the people that they have access to. That's it. That's what dating and marriage and all this stuff is about. Proximity. But if you have a bad predisposition towards a person based on your ideologies, then you're not going to even be able to relate to them people well enough to get to the point where you have a dealing with them, a personal dealing with them. So I'm trying to separate the word relationship from dealing for this video only, right? We're going to go back to talking in connotative um, language later. But right now, I'm trying to make it clear that the relationship is just simply how you talk to, behave towards, and deal with somebody. That is the relationship. And the relationship, that relationship is determined by your beliefs and ideologies. So if your beliefs and ideologies cause you to have a... Uh, 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 um, an antagonistic predisposition towards that person or volatile predisposition or an adversarial predisposition towards that person, then you are never going to even relate to that person well enough to get to the point where y'all have dealings like that, where y'all become a couple. It's never going to happen. You're never going to get past stage one. But the first thing you got to understand is that dating is about proximity. You know, I'm really getting tired of talking about uh, about dating. I know y'all noticed that I, I kind of got away from that topic, man, because in talking to these young brothers, I realized they need help, but I can't help them. When they start asking me questions like, you know, man, you know, I mean, it's hard when you ain't got nothing, bro. I mean, because a dude can pull up in a Lamborghini and take your girl. I'm like, bro, no chick that mess with you is going to just leave you for no nigga because he got a car. I see y'all watch too many skits on YouTube. Y'all do realize 90% of that stuff is fake. Y'all watching too many skits on YouTube. Because trust me, man, no chick that mess with you is going to uh, leave you just because a nigga got a, a, a Lambo. 
And besides, after she riding that Lamborghini, she ain't gonna ride in that bitch again. That, that's a rough ride. Sports cars do not ride smooth. That's why players don't have sports cars. See, a, a, a real player type dude, he don't want a sports car. The ride is too rough. If you can afford that, then you can afford the gas for a nice Escalade, a nice, a nice luxurious SUV. You sit high, you can see better, the shit smooth as hell. That's luxury. A sports car is not luxury. That's a toy. And grown women do not get moist behind no damn toy. Sitting there called rocking and getting whiplash and all that shit. Grown woman is not going to like that shit, but trust me on that. So, I mean, all this stuff sound good, man, but it's childish to think that a woman that, that likes you is going to really leave you for a dude simply because he has a car. And I'm like, brothers, y'all can't be that insecure. You don't think it happened to you? I say, no. I say, man, no chick fuck with Kush is going to leave me because I'm down and out. I've been down and out already, bro. The women took care of me. I've had nothing. And no nigga, no matter what he had, could take them. And I had pretty girls taking care of me. I've had dime pieces taking care of me. When I came out of prison, I had nothing. I'm telling you, man, I, I, I don't have that problem because I understand the nature of women. A woman that rock with you, rock with you, bro. She's not going to forsake you because a nigga got a car. And say that was to happen. She did you a favor. She did you a favor, bro. Say that shit did happen, bro. All she did was showed you her true colors. Be thankful, bro. Be thankful before it got too deep. You know what I'm saying? But but no, no chick that mess with you is going to do that. I've been down and out, bro. I don't care what a nigga got. He can't take no chick from me, man. And besides, bro, I'm a hard act to follow. So I'm tired of trying to argue with y'all about your ideology. Now we talking about that again. See how we done brought it full circle. I'm tired of trying to argue through your beliefs. You just don't want to see the reality of what's going on because your beliefs provide you with a comfort zone of excuses. But you can just blame it on the women and you don't have to sit there and say, man, that's not true, man. Look, I can, first of all, I can only date the women around. I need to get off social media, stop looking at these Instagram hoes because if I'm not around women that look like that, I'm not going to be able to date women that look like that. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. So I need to learn, you know, how are the women that I that I have physical access to them? What kind of cultural habits do they have? Behavior patterns do they have? You know, I need to get to know the women that I have direct access to instead of focusing on what, what Megan, Megan the Stallion is, is doing. You know what I'm saying? I need to focus on these women. You know what I'm saying? That's what y'all need to do. Stop worrying about uh, uh, Jada Pinkett and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, and focus on the women that you have access to. Next thing, the women, the attractive women don't come from a special place or special class. They are everywhere. They are everywhere. A lot of them are just as broke and poor as you are. Find you one that's in your class level that, that y'all could relate and talk. Then you got to learn how to talk to women. If you approach women with the red pill mentality, you're going to run her off. Just like if she comes spewing out feminism, she going to run you off. So learn how to talk to a woman as a human being. Respect her as a human being. She is a person. She is not your property. She is not, she is not, she is not created to be your property. She is her own human being. So respect them as human beings. Get to know the women that's, that's, that you have access to. Learn to talk to women with respect. And you're going to be okay. But now, I just summed all it up. And the truth of the matter is, y'all not going to want to hear that. It is not a message you want to hear. Y'all want women, but y'all don't want to do what it takes to get women. And that is a problem that you have. Because I don't have it. I don't have it. And look, I've dated women of all races and, 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 and economic classes and all kinds of women, bro. I mean, I mean, look, I've dated such a wide variety of women that it's hard to believe one man could date that many different types of women. But if you really pay attention to my videos, you see that I'm a very diverse dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm very, very diverse. And I'm telling you, bro, I've never chased a woman. My money never mattered. What I had never mattered. The only thing I brought to the table was me and my character. That's it. And that's what I've been trying to tell y'all since I've been here. And everybody got something about them that makes them kind of interesting. Find out what it is. 
there is something about you, black man, that makes you interesting. Find out what it is. And you lean into that. That, that is your superpower. But y'all don't want to listen to me. Y'all want to just go hate, go listen to mediocre tutorial reviews and all these other people just hate on women. You go ahead and do that, man. While you hating on women, in fact, while you hating, mediocre is fucking a bad bitch right now. Yeah, M Melly proves how much of a fake nigga he is and the contradiction he is, but Melly Monaco is a bad bitch. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not too many tattoos for my flavor, but she's a bad bitch. I mean, outside the tattoos, her face and body, she, she is gorgeous. She messed herself up with all those tattoos. In fact, her tattoos are going to be the reason why she's going to scrape the bottom barrel. She's going to have to date somebody or marry somebody like a, like, like a mediocre. A dude that come up from insecurity, from nothing, from being a lame and a square that women just thought was corny to a dude that got in the position to get her. That's, that's going to be the only kind of man she's going to end up with because a real man of high value, which means high character, like myself, a real high value man wouldn't mess with Melly Monaco just because of all the writing and, and graphics that she put all over her body. But anyway, the point is, man, I've dealt with a lot of different types of women from all walks of life. And the only thing I would matter to them women was my character. And I've been trying to teach y'all that, but y'all don't want to hear that. Y'all want to believe that it's something else. You got to be tall. You got to have money. You got to have a dick that long. Y'all got all kinds of excuses and all this stuff that y'all come up with to, to justify why you can't get a woman. Instead of just going out there and meeting the women that's around you. You're sitting there focused online, looking at these girls on Instagram instead of looking at the women right there in front of your face. You dudes are just too insecure. Y'all live in fantasy. Y'all live online instead of just being where you are. Keep Keep your mind where your ass at. You are here. Deal with the women that you have here. Stop trying to measure them against some girl full of makeup online. Taking professional pictures. When you got these chicks at the gym with no makeup on because they sweating and shit. You get to see their real beauty. And some of these girls are so pretty. Got no makeup on. They pretty. That's just them. The bodies. The faces. Oh, God, man. These girls look good. First of all, God don't really make ugly. Ugly is a stretch. So most women are average. And average is attractive. Above average looks real good. And we have a lot of above average women back here. A lot of them. I mean, got to be within the, within the range, right? Above average would probably be what, 5%? We have at least that. We have at least 5% of the women back here are above average. At least that. Maybe 10 yeah, we got a lot of good looking women. In fact, our average is probably high. Our average looks is probably higher than the average looks elsewhere. These women look good, man. I think the average look of the woman back here is probably an eight. Real talk. These are some very, very, very attractive women in my community. And these dudes are just sitting there acting like they don't see them. See, that that's something. And they hang together. Always together with all these women around. Anyway, I'm out of here, man. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. the Black Alpha. Salam.